Hello, I'm Nikki Newman, on again, off again, on again, off again, and currently on again wife of the great Victor Newman. Who knew when I first appeared on The Young and the Restless in 1978 that I would reach the heights of Genoa City society? I was no debutante. I sold flowers for a commune. I had a baby and gave him up for adoption. I worked for a modeling agency that tried to turn me into a call girl. So I quit and got a real job. I became a stripper. And that's where I met my future love and Svengali to be, Victor Newman. He saw me before I saw him, if you know what I mean. My life would never be the same. Husbands, I've had a few. Or is that regrets? Or both? Before I met Victor, I was married to Greg Foster. Almost got him killed. My bad. Victor set me up with my second husband, Kevin Bancroft. Don't ask. Then I married Victor. My storybook romance. But I had an affair with Jack Abbott. Things got complicated. That's a euphemism for Victor went ballistic. Victor and I got divorced. So I married Jack. Then Dr. Joshua Landers. Then Victor again. And again. Then David Chow, who died the murderous skunk. Then Deacon Sharp, hashtag one more match made in hell, another try with Jack Abbott, strike two, and now Victor Newman again. Let's hope the 11th time's the charm. My family life is pretty complicated. Early on, my mom died in a car accident. Then I accidentally killed my father. Self-defense, I swear. I may be a bit of a train wreck myself, but Victor and I raised two pretty great kids, Nicholas and Victoria and my former lover and BFF Paul Williams helped me find our long-lost son, Dylan. I have definite issues with my stepson, Adam, but we are total buds compared to my daughter-in-law, Sharon, who burned down my house and can't seem to stop marrying the men in my family. She's the best if you have a fondness for serial gold diggers. Just hide the matches. Sharon and I rarely see eye to eye, but once we were the poster kids for teamwork when I helped her look for a dead body in the sewer. And yes, we found one. For better or worse, much worse, I'll be remembered as more than a well-to-do wife and mother. I was in a cult. I had a stalker. I ran for state senate. And I went to jail. Please note, those two are mutually exclusive. I faked having an incurable disease. I hit my nemesis Diane on the head with a rock and thought I killed her. On the plus side, I'm quite the classical pianist. And I'm an accomplished horsewoman. Oh, except for that time I fell off my horse. Which is when I got addicted to painkillers and alcohol. Sure, my life has been challenging. To say there have been ups and downs is an understatement. But you have to admit, I don't do dull. These days, I'm trying to stay sober. And I'm trying my best to make this Mrs. Victor Newman thing work. But you never know with Victor and me. I'm Nikki Newman now, but who knows? Maybe 12 is my lucky number.